Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Um, do you want to come? Because we got like 30 minutes, believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> we're, we are flying through this. Uh, we're an hour and a half into it. I think we started a little bit late, but um, right. yeah. Do you want to do you want to talk about red flags? Um, you know, we've got the red yeah. flag laws. We got Crenshaw. We got his his support of taps and all that. I know you came out with some. Do you want to explain what your position is with all of this right now? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm I'm anti red flag laws. Uh, the big thing, I mean, especially being here in Colorado, mm -hmm. I've been able to really see like how the fight has been around here. Mm -hmm. um, and <sighs> I'm trying to go back into like how it was like chronologically, but I mean, the most part is that I'm anti-red flag laws because they don't work. They're unconstitutional. And it, it just, like Thomas Massey, Representative Thomas Massey said, they're ripe for abuse. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of that and more. I mean, all, basically, and, and not just the Second Amendment, like they're anti-Second Amendment. They're anti-Fourth Amendment, 14th, like so many different things yeah. that we... Um, we, that they we don't do. even know who's on the do not fly list. We don't right. even know how exactly. you get on the do not fly list. We don't know how to remove yourself from the do not fly list. Who we, we do know that there's congressmen on the do not fly list. There's FBI agents. How did that happen? You know, there's soldiers who are currently serving their country that are on the do not fly list. It's kind of insane. Now they want to tell us, oh, we're just going to create this thing. And then in terms of like taps, which we've talked about here on the podcast before, I mean, that's, all, that's like pre-crime, right? We're going to we're going to sit down and we're going to figure out who might be a threat. And then exactly. we're gonna, we want the ability and the and the laws and and all these tools to use against those people that might be threats. But we don't know what the protections for those people are going to be. Yeah. With the tap sack, I'm uh, looking at that after Crenshaw mm -hmm. tweeted that whole thing and started that firestorm. But mm -hmm. um, or a Twitter storm. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I, I pray for him. But um, yeah. well, uh, with that mm -hmm. one, looking at the TAPS Act, like they even provide funding. And what, what it seems on there, it says, well, it, seems, it says $25 million from like 2020 to 2024 funding, which, to be honest, that adds another layer of the fact that now you're incentivizing states to, first of all, implement some type of red flag law, which mm -hmm. when they didn't, where they weren't going to in the first place, now mm -hmm. they're like, well, I feel compelled. It's money. Well, yeah, I've like, got to do it. Yeah. Federal dollars on the ground, right. on the floor, you know. Um, and then also, it, whatever that task force comes up with, whoever's part of that task force, we don't know who's going to be on it, right? Mm -hmm. They're the ones who are going to determine what it is. And then if you're not, if those states are not um, incongruent with those type of what they think is the best practices for that, then I mean, your your audience will probably already know mm -hmm. that stuff. But so th that alone is uh, the bad part of it. That's not even red flag laws that they're still looking into implementing or you know putting out a bill in September because mm -hmm. they're not. They're not they're not in a session right now. So, and of course, whenever you, that's the thing is like, people don't think when you put Lindsey Graham on something like you just know, it's not going to be very pro liberty. Yeah. Like, I'm also going to say <laughs> Homeland, yeah. Homeland security didn't work out too well for us. Right. You know, there's the, right. the, the stuff that we have to go through at the airport. Okay. We had nine 11. They said, Oh, this is how we're going to deal with this. It's horrible, right? We lost a lot of rights. We get violated every single time we fly. Uh, when they test it, it doesn't work so great. But we have another or uh, another government uh, group that's got tactical units and, and got lots of money and can do all these things. And we have no idea what's going on. Now they want to create a pre-crime version of that because, oh, yeah, these this is how we stop people from assassinating all these dignitaries and everything. And it's going to work for you. We promise you we're going to use that to protect you. <laughs> Right. No. Yeah. No. It's it's to make sure that they have more power, yeah. and that's what it's always going to be. And it's the whole inch mile thing. And I, but I know people don't like the whole slippery slope thing, but it's not even a slippery slope. It's just like it's 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 wet and wild right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's already it's already gone. Yeah. Like, and then it's going to continue to be something that they'll use to abuse. And they have. And that's the thing. People in the 17th state that already have. Uh, red flag laws. I mean, we're the 15th one and ours hasn't even started yet, uh, but we already have three dozen sheriffs have said, no, we're not going to enforce it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's bad laws that are unconstitutional. They don't just just like most policies from the left that are anti-gun, especially they don't work. They're ineffective. They don't even work.
Yeah. So, yeah. Um, our man in Axis gave us a couple of bucks here. He says, can we the people red flag politicians that are a threat to the United States Constitution? <laughs> um, yeah, it's called voting for them. Yeah, vote them out. <laughs> create term limits. Um, even though they don't want us to, they don't want us to do anything to control them. But they want to control us. <laughs> Think about exactly. this. They don't want term limits. They want to put limits on us, though. This is what they're up to. Um, so let's talk like directly about Crenshaw. Okay, he came out in support of red flag laws, and then he put out he put this video up on Twitter for whoever who hasn't seen it, saying, "Hey, I'm not really supporting it. You guys are all getting mad for no reason. Somehow I lost my hero status um, because I said I support this thing. What I'm saying, me and the president, we're saying, listen, we're playing 3D chess." Let's uh, get ahead of this and set our own rules so the so that the uh, liberals don't get to set rules. But that's how I read what he said. How did you read it? Right. I I, I know it's kind of funny because exactly what he was saying. The emotionally triggered part uh-huh. emotionally triggered me. So then I stopped, stopped watching. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm done. Yeah. But uh, but the fact of the matter is, and I've been vocal about this, like, I've been right immediately when that happened, I started talking, like, messaging him and talking. We've been talking back and forth mm-hmm. and telling him about, like, uh, Maine's version, the one that they put through. I actually just had the guy who helped author that bill in mm-hmm. Maine on my on my show, my Trigger Warning 2A podcast yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called Yellow Paper uh, Bills or whatever, laws or whatever. Okay. Um, but the thing is that red flag laws, just as they are – do not allow for due process and think first of all the states that all have them illinois massachusetts connecticut uh you know all these states that obviously are you know already left you know dominated already and mostly it's democrats who are authoring those bills you just have to completely scrap that red flag laws as they are just completely scrapped because it's just meant to be it's a formula i mean when diane feinstein says in the march hearing for this um, same thing, saying that red flag laws is just a, a means for what they really want, which is to eventually ban assault weapons. Yeah. Assault weapons. Yeah. Like it's a tool for them. This is this is not the the end of it. This is what they're using to eventually use to to ban everybody's rights when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I I don't. First of all, I have to say this, and we're gonna probably talk about the NRA. I don't know. Maybe this is a good place. But this is just like what happened back with the shooting in Las Vegas. And then the NRA kind of like opened the door to the president to to put in a bump stock ban, which was then we got told, oh, you guys don't like, you know, when we all spoke up and said, this is crazy. You're going to ban a bump stock now. You know, they're like, oh, you guys don't understand. We're playing 3D chess with these guys. Now the the, the, the that we wound up with having the president um, do an executive order that basically not if you have a bump stock and you put it on a rifle, just possessing that piece of plastic yeah. that's basically right. a stock goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Possessing that makes you a felon, gives you right. 10 years in prison and a hundred thousand dollar fine that you owe to the government. You know, that's crazy. That kind of 3D chess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. 3D no, chess. I don't want that. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. When he says, oh, you guys yeah. don't understand. We're getting ahead of this. If they create something that later on they could go in there and keep adding stuff to it, that's not going to be good. Just look at health care and all that stuff. We can't straighten right. it out because you created right. this thing. they talking about, oh, we're going to get together and do this. Don't worry about it. It's going to be great. You know? Right. And I, I think when you said the health care thing, like. Because even that one, people on both sides didn't like Obamacare. Mm-hmm. Because on the left, it was because they didn't think that he went far enough, right? Mm-hmm. It was always supposed to be single payer, payer health care. Um, and then ours, obviously, because we're just like, you're not even talking about health care costs. You're talking about insurance. You know, yeah. You're not even, you know. Um, but for them, it was always the 3D chess. I'm sure Obama was like, oh, don't worry. We're just going to have Obamacare. Yeah, and then yeah. Like, but the yeah. thing, the you gotta though, pass is, it. You gotta pass it to find out what's in it. <laughs> pass oh, it first. Yeah, exactly. We'll sort it out later. Don't worry about it. We're on your side. <laughs> but the difference that is a, the difference though is that a lot of the times though mm-hmm. they are so like they they play long term 3D chess, right? Whatever yeah. that means. Hundred yeah. years, you know. Yeah. From now. Like they are going long, like long term game of. Yeah, maybe not this time, maybe next time. And also chip, chip, chips, like slowly away all your rights until we get to the point where you think it's a great idea to have single-payer health care. Like mm-hmm. they will get there. Yeah. On our side, we're just like, 
Oh well, you know, let's just let's just give up before we even try because I don't I want to yeah. defend it, but let's just give up. You know, I'm so not I'm not I'm not giving up an inch. Uh, Constitution, well, that's yeah, Constitution, exactly. people. Right. That's what they need to do. Constitution. That's it. That's what we need. That's a forever, forever thing. You know, right? Um, and 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 that's what's frustrating for the least is when. I mean, but it's also, I feel like this was a good time for me to, like, remember, like, it mm-hmm. is authoritarianism versus libertarianism, like, small mm-hmm. L libertarianism, the fact that you get liberty or you don't. Mm-hmm. And so when you're making excuses, like, well, I know I don't like this and, like, trust me, but, like, you know, the, you're like, trust me, like, you're the government. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trusting you. No, absolutely not. <laughs> no. I'm not trusting you. I mean, he's talking, no. to, he's talking about Trump. Who Trump said, forget about due process. We'll sort them out later. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that was amazing. That was amazing.